Merry Christmas. Tux Aratere coming in from the baby cut shop in Chelsea. And today we're talking about Christmas traditions. Do you have a tradition that you have either carried on from childhood and brought into your family today, or maybe you've started one with your young family? I have a few of my favorites and I want to share three of them with you today. The first one is the obligatory Christmas family photographs in pajamas. Now, when my kids were really young, I made sure that we started off this. I didn't say we carried on, I said we started. So I started with my son, my youngest, my oldest son, and I think I went as far as the second and maybe even the third, but then it sort of tapered off and then we moved on to Santa Claus photos after that until they got too big for that. And so many of my friends in the United States do do that and they would take photographs of their family in pajamas, it's always in green, or in red or in green and red check and it's always a beautiful Christmas picture and then they convert that to postcards and send them to loved ones with a note behind it. I love that because it's a way of making sure that you remain in the minds of the people that matter to you but in addition to that it shows growth and it shows that you have evolved over the years regardless of the challenges and it shows togetherness as well. What it doesn't show is the challenges in between one Christmas to the next, but it does show that you survived the challenge. So that's one of my favorite ones. My second favorite Christmas family tradition is gifting ornaments. So I know a mom and daughter duo that do this every single year. And I thought it would be a great idea to take it extra to make it extra special by making it personalized. And then you can actually have a word for your friend or your sister or whoever you're giving the, the ornament to. For example, my friend went through a divorce this year and she displayed incredible strength and still needs more strength as she transitions into this new season of her life. And if I were to gift her an ornament, it would have the word strength on it. Perhaps you have a loved one who is dealing with insecurities because of her changing body or her changing looks. You can give her an ornament that has the word beauty on it or confidence or just something that you wish for them that's a tradition that I actually don't do but I would love to adopt my final and probably my favorite tradition is Christmas movies I mean we've got to watch the Christmas movies Home Alone Elf I absolutely love Elf and I used to watch Home Alone every single year with my kids until again they got too big and decided they weren't doing that <laughs> doing that anymore but Elf is my favorite Christmas movie and it never ceases to get me emotional. You know, the part when he speaks to his father and his father throws him out. It's such an emotional movie that speaks volumes depending on what season you are in your life. But that's one of my favorite things is watching a family movie, watching the same movie every year. And I'm going to throw in a bonus one, especially if you have young children, read them the same Christmas story every year. There are tons of Christmas stories out there, but I would absolutely love to hear yours. What is your Christmas tradition? What traditions have you adopted? Baking cookies, um, gingerbread house. We try that with my boys. We ended up looking like a, a house of horrors because I'm not the best at baking, but it worked and they loved, 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 loved doing it. So we have baked every year, actually. That's another one I should have mentioned in our, la in our home every single year at Christmas. I'd love to hear your thoughts.